everyone. Um, right, um, I have some news to tell you. But um, a couple of weeks ago, you know uh, this case with my vagabond that Ray bought me? Well, when we took it back to the shop, because he bought it from uh, Hobby Craft here in Leeds, Anyway, things got sorted out, blah, blah, for that. But then they wanted to know what sort of work I did. So my husband said, oh, you should do this, blah, you know how they do. Uh, and they asked me to call in. I spoke to her on the phone, uh, the lady, the manageress, and they asked me to call in and take some of my things in that I make. So I did, and the arranged date was for today. So I did that. Um, I you know I took in various things from Steampunk, uh, stuff to vintage and whatever and they absolutely loved everything so I was thrilled and um, they want me to do some classes there which I'm also thrilled about by the end of the conversation they said you know go and have a look around see what you see what you can see and uh, take what you need put something together and the first week is going to be this which is steampunk put something together I bring it in and then they'll do the advertisement for that particular um, tu tutorial. So I was chuffed to death, of course, and um, I chose to do one of these books. So this is the book that I went and they let me pick up. They said anything I needed, I used, um, for the undercoat, I used this, which is um, the deco pa uh, patch, uh, a white acrylic covering paint, so I used that. It's really thick, really thick. And um, they just said, take what you need. <laughs> I was very good. Um, I did get a couple of these keys, which I put one on. And I did pick this key up as well while I was there. This chain. And um, these are the die cuts I already had. Uh, because my die cut broke, if you remember. So I'm waiting for that to be replaced. But these, I, I cut these out today. And these, the hinges and that. But uh, the clock and that, I did have some and that. They were a different colour, but I glued them on anyway and uh, they've worked. But I've I've done it all the way around as well, on the back. Could have put some more on, um, but I just wanted to show them what I could do. And then I've done the back as well, so I hope you can see that. And I've linked in the chain with the key here. Um, this is corrugated paper, just stuck it on the corners of a couple of the corners. Um... And like I say, um, put a, one of the Tim Holtz fasteners in there, uh, or what they're called, and I've just hung the key from that. So that's what I've done. And inside, that key's going to come off, I just did the paper for the inside. Just some random paper that I had, uh, distressed it, um, and that's it. That Basically, that's the box done. I, I wasn't going to do all this edging because I'm only doing it to show them. And that mini I made a while back, um, just to show them how to do a mini, um, I'm just popping that inside to show that it will house a mini, you know, uh, if that's what somebody wanted to put in. Because they can use it for anything, obviously. So that's the box, and all I did to achieve this um, was done the undercoat in the white paint, then gave it a coat of black paint, which gets the nooks and you know into the nooks and crannies, and then I went over it with this paint, which is the artist acrylic paint, and this is the burnt umber. So I used that one, and it just gives you the right darkness for the book. And then I used, of course, the rub and buff uh, in the gold. Um, but that was after. I mean, all these were put on first, and the corrugated paper. All that was put on first, and um, and then I. Did the rub and buff, and then I added these. These move. Oops, take that off of there, which is not supposed to be. Then I uh, did these on the front and the back. Um, added the chain and whatnot. There you go. There's the other chain. Oops. Put the key on the chain. Took it from the top here, and just hung it there. That was the type of key I chose, and. Um, the inside, of course, was just a matter of uh, making sure it was all painted and then distressing this and popping that on as well. And that's what I've done. And I think, you know, I think it's come out really, really neat. I'm just going to hold this up. 
Hope you can see all of that. Like that and like I say I took the chain from the front to the back and again these move as well um, <coughs> so I just decided that that's what I was doing and that's what I saw when I looked at the book nice size book to do fit a nice size mini inside as well so that's it so I'm taking that down tomorrow to show them and uh, see what they say <laughs> I might hang some more bits off here actually um, and that's it and that book's done so I just thought I'll share that with you share my good news I'm absolutely thrilled because I've got uh, um, some dates booked which I will tell you about and if anybody's in the vicinity I do live in Leeds in Yorkshire uh, if anybody's in the vicinity it's at Crown Point and it's um, what are we on now? Uh, it'll be two weeks, I think it is. Yeah, it's the 14th of January, between 10 and 4. Um, and I'll be creating this and showing you how to do that. You will have to phone the shop, phone the store, which is Hobby, Cro uh, Hobby Craft, and book, um, book it in with them. Oh, sorry, not this one. This one I'm, uh, I'm just going to do on the day. Uh, but any others from the other ones that I'm going to read out. Sunday 29th of January, that is Vintage Valentine's Ideas. You'll have to book that one with the store. Saturday the 11th of February, Recycle Crafts, 11 till 4, book that one. And uh, the 25th of uh, February, 11 till 4, is Vintage Mother's Day Ideas, Flowers and Butterflies. On the recycled one that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be showing them how to do this tag. And that is, uh, the idea came from Glenda. That's um, Wicked Glen 1. Um, but that's what I'm going to be showing how to do. This is actually a lemonade bottle that I cut off, cut, cut off, cut off and used like a dome on there for that. And this is embossed and uh, it's just chipboard. Um, run through the um, embossing folder and some lace and some trimming. And I'm going to be showing people how to do that. And that will be... Um, Saturday 11th of February Recycle Crafts 11 till 4 so it's Crown Point Hobby Craft Leeds uh, first one is January the 14th 10 till 4 it'll be all steampunk there won't be just this there'll be other things as well um, Sunday the 29th of January Vintage Valentine's Ideas Saturday the 11th of February Recycle Crafts and Saturday 25th of February will be Vintage Mother's Day Ideas Flowers and Butterflies and if you want to come along, if you're in the vicinity, or, you know, if you're neighbouring town, come along. You know, it's um, it'll be a fun day. Yeah, it is uh, 10 till 4 for the first one on Saturday the 14th, and the rest will be 11 till 4. Uh, but, like I say, come along and uh, join in. But book the store if you want to see any of those, which is the 29th of January, the 11th of February, and the 25th of February. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon. And I'm chuffed to death. Bye-bye <laughs> for now.